Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about breast ultrasound reporting. You will learn how to write breast ultrasound reports. You will learn how to write the findings and the impression for different cases. Firstly, we will look at a normal breast ultrasound. The clinical indication was a routine breast ultrasound examination. You can start writing the findings by mentioning what type of transducer was used. Usually a high resolution linear transducer is used for the breast. After that you can write about the appearances of the skin and subcutaneous tissues which are unremarkable with no evidence of skin thickening or edema. Then you can write about the nipple areolar complexes, which in this case appear normal and symmetric. This is the impression for a normal breast ultrasound exam. In this example report, both breasts demonstrate predominantly fatty tissue composition no focal masses or architectural distortions are identified. No abnormal calcifications or suspicious microcalcifications are seen. The bilateral axillary lymph nodes appear unremarkable, with no evidence of abnormal enlargement or suspicious features. You can also write the BIRAD score which for a normal case is 1. So you can write, these findings are consistent with a normal breast ultrasound and in the brackets you can write by rads 1. You can end the impression by writing this. Clinical correlation with mammography and patient history is recommended for a comprehensive evaluation of breast health. Regular breast self-examinations and routine screenings are advised as per standard guidelines. Our next case is a simple breast cyst. The clinical indication is a palpable lump in right breast. These are the findings. The skin and subcutaneous tissues appear normal with no evidence of skin thickening or edema. The nipple areolar complex appears unremarkable. It is important to write the location of the lesions by mentioning the quadrants and the clock positions. The lesion in this case was in the upper outer quadrant of the right breast at the 2 o'clock position. A well-defined anechoic cystic structure is identified. Then the size of the cyst is written. The diameter is 2 cm and it demonstrates posterior acoustic enhancement. And then you can write the distance of the lesion from the nipple. The cyst is located approximately 4 cm from the nipple in this case. After that, you can mention other focal masses or architectural distortions or any suspicious calcifications which are seen. In this case, there were no other lesions. The axillary lymph nodes appear unremarkable and had no suspicious features. After that, you can write about the other breast. In this case, the left breast and axilla were normal and had no significant abnormalities. In the impression, you can mention the well-defined anechoic cystic structure and then you can write its size. After that, you can write its location while also mentioning the distance from the nipple. After that, you can write about the BIRADS score. Given the appearance, 
characteristics clock location and distance from the nipple of the cyst it is classified as a biovads 2 indicating a benign finding no further imaging or intervention is required at this time our next case is a complicated cyst the clinical indication is a palpable lump in left breast the skin and subcutaneous tissues were normal and the nipple areolar complex was also normal in the upper inner quadrant of the left breast at the 10 o'clock position a complex cystic structure is identified the cyst shows mixed acrogenicity with internal debris and septations its size is 2.5 centimeters in diameter the cyst is located approximately 3 centimeters from the nipple there were no significant abnormalities in the right breast the axillary lymph nodes were also normal after that you can write the birads assessment based on the ultrasound findings the birads category is 3 which is probably benign finding here is the impression a complex cystic structure with mixed acrogenicity internal debris and septations measuring approximately 2.5 centimeters in diameter and then its location is written after that you can write the birads score for a complicated cyst it is birads 3 which indicates a probably benign finding now we will look at ultrasound report for a fibroadenoma the clinical indication in this case is a palpable lump in the right breast in the findings the transducer used is mentioned and then the appearances of skin and subcutaneous tissues as well as the nipple areolar complex are written in the upper outer quadrant of the right breast at the two o'clock position a well-defined solid mass is identified the mass is hypoechoic and measures approximately 2 cm in diameter it has a smooth contour and parallel orientation with the surrounding breast tissue no suspicious microcalcifications or suspicious features are identified the mass is located approximately 3 cm from the nipple you can write the BIRAD score. BIRAD score for fibroadenoma is 3, which is probably benign finding. You can write the findings in the impression as well as the location of the mass and its distance from the nipple. And then you can write features are consistent with a fibroadenoma. After that, you can write the BIRAD score, which is 3 in this case, indicating a probably benign finding. However, further evaluation or surveillance may be recommended to confirm its stability over time. You can end the impression by writing about clinical correlation and advising additional imaging such as mammography or biopsy which may be necessary for further characterization or confirmation of the diagnosis hyperechoic breast masses include lipoma hamartoma and hemangioma they all usually appear hyperechoic this is a case of lipoma in this example, the skin, subcutaneous tissues, and nipple areolar complex were normal. 
in the upper inner quadrant of the left breast at the 11 o'clock position a well defined echogenic mass is identified it is homogeneous and measures approximately 2.5 cm in diameter it has smooth margins and is located in the subcutaneous tissue no suspicious features such as microcalcifications or posterior acoustic shadowing are observed within the mass. The left axillary lymph nodes were normal. The BIRAT score for lipoma is 2, which is a benign finding. In the impression, you can mention the well defined echogenic mass with smooth margins, and then you can write its size. After that, you can write about its homogeneity and its location in the subcutaneous tissue. These features are consistent with a lipoma. After that, you can write the BIRAD score. And then in the end, you can write about clinical correlation. Now we will look at intramammary lymph node. These are the findings. In the upper inner quadrant of the left breast, at the 11 o'clock position, a well defined oval shaped hypoechoic mass with a hyperechoic center is identified. The mass is located within the parenchyma and measures approximately 1.5 cm in diameter and exhibits a smooth margin. It is located approximately 5 cm from the nipple. On color Doppler imaging, the mass shows increased vascularity, suggesting active blood flow. There were no other suspicious features and no significant abnormalities within the left breast. For intramammary lymph node, the BIRADS category is 2. It is a benign finding. You can write those findings and the size in the impression as well as mention its vascularity on color Doppler. This example report is of sebaceous cyst. These are the findings in the upper outer quadrant of the right breast at the 3 o'clock position. A well defined hypoechoic and heterogeneous mass is identified. This is the size of the mass and it is located closer to the skin. There were no other abnormalities. The mass is located approximately 4 cm from the nipple. Besides this cyst, there were no other abnormalities noted. The BIRAD score for sebaceous cyst is 2. It is a benign finding. This is the impression. Due to its location being closer to the skin, it is most likely consistent with a sebaceous cyst. The findings and size of the cyst is written in the impression. Based on BIRADS classification, it is categorized as a BIRADS 2. Close monitoring or additional imaging may be recommended to confirm stability over time. Here we have a case of milk of calcium cyst. In the lower inner quadrant of the right breast, at the 6 o'clock position, a well-defined cystic structure is identified. The cyst appears hypoechoic with a hyperechoic calculus within, measuring approximately 1 cm in diameter. The cyst is located approximately 7 cm from the nipple. In BIRADS classification, it is given a score of BIRADS 2 which is a benign finding.
Here is the impression. This ultrasound examination of the right breast reveals a well defined cystic structure with a hyperechoic calculus measuring approximately 1 cm in diameter. These findings are most consistent with a milk of calcium cyst characterized by the presence of a calcified calculus within a cystic structure. After that, the Birads classification is written, which is Birads 2, and the impression ends with clinical correlation. The next case is eggshell calcification. These are the findings in the upper outer quadrant of the left breast at the 1 o'clock position. A well defined solid mass with an echogenic rim is identified. Then its size is written and it demonstrates an eggshell like calcification pattern where the calcifications are seen along the periphery of the mass. There were no other abnormal features in this case. The actual calcifications are located approximately 3 cm from the nipple. Besides these eggshell calcifications, there were no other abnormalities. Then you can write the BIRAD score. It is given a BIRAD score of 2. The main findings and the size are written in the report and you can put emphasis on the distribution of calcification which is along the periphery of the mass and after that you can write the Birad score in the impression and you can end the impression with the line of clinical correlation this is a report for clustered microcysts in the upper outer quadrant of the left breast. At the 11 o'clock position, a cluster of multiple small cystic structures is identified. The cysts are well defined, anechoic, and measure approximately 2 to 4 millimeters in diameter. There were no other solid components or suspicious features observed. And the cluster of microcysts is located approximately 4 cm from the nipple. Besides these microcysts, there were no other focal masses or other abnormalities in either breast, and the axillary lymph nodes were unremarkable. The BIRADS assessment for clustered microcysts is BIRADS 3. In the impression, you can mention the cluster of multiple small cystic structures and then you can write its location. The cysts are well defined, anechoic, and measure approximately 2 to 4 millimeters in diameter. And the cluster is located approximately 4 centimeters from the nipple. After that, you can write the BIRADS score, which is BIRADS 3. And then you can write, however, close monitoring or additional imaging may be recommended to confirm stability over time. Now we move on to fat necrosis. This is the history. A 42-year-old female with a history of breast biopsy and presents with right breast pain. These are the findings in the upper inner quadrant of the right breast at the 3 o'clock position a focal hyperechoic area is identified then the size of this area is written it is located approximately 4 centimeters from the nipple. Besides this lesion, there were no other abnormalities noted. For fat necrosis, 
the biwet score is 3 which is a probably benign finding this is the impression the ultrasound reveals a focal hyperechoic area in the upper inner quadrant at the 3 o'clock position the area measures approximately 2.5 cm in diameter it is located approximately 4 cm from the nipple here is another case of fat necrosis a 50 year old female with a history of fat necrosis in the right breast presents with a palpable lump and breast pain in the same breast these are the findings in the upper outer quadrant of the right breast at the one o'clock position a focal area of hypoechoic tissue with posterior acoustic shadowing is identified and the area is three centimeters in diameter approximately the area is located approximately 6 cm from the nipple the findings are consistent with late fat necrosis there were no other abnormalities and the axillary lymph nodes were also unremarkable the biwet score is 3 for fat necrosis you can write all the main findings in the impression as well and you can also write the location of the lesion after that you can write the biwet score which in this case is biwet 3 follow up is advised to confirm stability over time an intraductal papilloma is mostly a benign tumor but in some cases it can be malignant in this report the patient had nipple discharge from right breast these are the findings in the sub areolar region of the right breast at the 6 o'clock position a well defined hypoechoic mass with internal vascularity is identified the mass measures approximately 1.5 cm in diameter and demonstrates an elongated shape it is located approximately 2 cm from the nipple besides this mass there were no other significant abnormalities in the biwet assessment an intraductal papilloma is given a biwet score of 4a but this can be variable and depends on the features of the mass but usually it is 4a that is low suspicion for malignancy you can write the main findings in the impression and also write its location and the size of the mass given the appearance characteristics clock location and distance from the nipple it is classified as a bi rats 4a indicating a low suspicion for malignancy further evaluation such as diagnostic mammography ultrasound guided biopsy or additional imaging is recommended to assess the nature of the mass and determine the appropriate management after that you can write about clinical correlation with patient history and mammography findings and also refer the patient to a breast specialist intracystic papillary carcinoma is a type of breast cancer these are the findings in the upper outer quadrant of the right breast at the two o'clock position a well-defined cystic structure with a solid mural nodule is identified the cystic component appears anechoic 
and measures approximately 2 cm in diameter. The solid mural nodule within the cyst is hypoechoic with irregular margins and measures approximately 1 cm in diameter. No posterior acoustic features are observed within the solid nodule. The lesion is located approximately 4 cm from the nipple. The left breast was normal. It did not have any suspicious features. In this example, the BIRAT score was 4B, which is moderately suspicious for malignancy. Although this score can be different and depends on the features of the mass. For this mass in the impression, you must mention the features such as a well defined cystic structure with a solid mural nodule, and then you can write its location, and you can also measure the cystic and solid components separately, and after that, you can write the distance of the lesion from the nipple. The BIRAT score can be written after that. It is 4B in this case. Further evaluation is necessary, which will include mammography and biopsy. Now we have a case of ductal carcinoma in situ. The patient had an abnormal mammogram showing microcalcifications in her left breast. These are the findings. There is a hypoechoic mass with microlobulated margins. There will be no posterior enhancement or shadowing observed. The right breast was normal and had no suspicious features. The BIRAT score for ductal carcinoma in situ is usually 5, which is highly suggestive of malignancy. The features of the mass, such as microlobulated margins, are written in the impression, as well as its size and location. The absence of posterior acoustic features are also written in the impression. After writing the features, size, and location, the BIRAT score is written. It is BIRAT 5 in this case. Additional imaging and biopsy are advised. Invasive ductal carcinoma is the most common type of breast cancer. The findings will include a hypoechoic mass with irregular margins and posterior acoustic shadowing. It will also show increased vascularity on color Doppler. The other breast was normal and had no suspicious features. It is given a BIRAT score of 5, which is highly suggestive of malignancy. In the impression, you can write the features such as a hypoechoic mass with irregular margins and posterior shadowing. After that, you can write the size of the lesion and its location. You can also mention increased vascularity on Doppler imaging. After that, the BIRAT score is written, which is 5 in this case. And in the end, further evaluation such as Diagnostic mammography and biopsy are advised. Mastitis is the inflammation of breast tissue. The patient usually presents with a painful swollen area in the breast. These are the findings for this example. The skin appears erythematous and edematous in the upper outer quadrant of the left breast. 
at the 9 o'clock position a focal area of increased vascularity and increased echogenicity is identified. The area measures approximately 3 cm in diameter and demonstrates diffuse hypoechoic characteristics. The area of concern is located approximately 4 cm from the nipple. The right breast had no significant abnormalities. Mastitis is usually given a bi rat score of 3, that is, probably benign finding. The main features, size and location of the concerned area are written in the impression. The bi rat score is written after that. It is bi rats 3 in this case. This is a case of duct ectasia. The clinical history was nipple discharge from the right breast. These are the findings in the retro areolar region of the right breast at the 12 o'clock position. Dilated and tortuous ducts are identified. The ducts appear hypoechoic and measure approximately 1.5 cm in diameter. No other abnormalities were seen. The left breast was unremarkable. Duct ectasia is given a bi rad score of 3, that is, probably benign. The findings, location and sizes of the ducts are written in the impression. Based on the characteristics, it is classified as BIRAT3, which is a probably benign finding. At the end, the lines of clinical correlation and further management are written. Regular follow-up and monitoring of symptoms are advised. This is a case of infected or inflamed cyst. The clinical history was a painful swollen area in the left breast. The skin appears erythematous and edematous in the upper outer quadrant of the left breast. In the upper outer quadrant of the left breast, at the 3 o'clock position, a hypoechoic cystic structure with thickened walls and internal debris is identified. Then the size of this cyst is written. Surrounding tissue shows increased vascularity and hypervascularity on color Doppler imaging, indicative of inflammation. The cyst is located approximately 4 cm from the nipple. The right breast was unremarkable. Infected or inflamed cyst is given a bi rat score of 3. In the impression, you can mention the hypoechoic cystic structure with thickened walls and internal debris, as well as Surrounding tissue demonstrates increased vascularity and hypervascularity on Doppler imaging consistent with inflammation. After that, you can write the BIRAD score, which is BIRAD 3 for infected or inflamed cyst. Here is a report of normal breast implant. The indication is a routine follow up examination. In the findings, you can write about the transducer used, and then you can write about the appearances of the skin and subcutaneous tissues, as well as the nipple areolar complexes. In both breasts, the implants are visualized as well defined echogenic structures with smooth contours. There is no evidence of implant rupture, leakage or displacement. The implants are in the expected position and show no signs of capsular contracture. 
No suspicious masses or abnormalities are identified within the breast parenchyma. The position and integrity of the implants are evaluated in both the transverse and sagittal planes. The surrounding breast tissue is adequately visualized to exclude any associated abnormalities. No significant abnormalities are identified in the axillary regions or lymph nodes. This is a report for breast implant rupture. In the findings, the skin and subcutaneous tissues appear normal with no evidence of skin thickening or abnormalities. The nipple areolar complexes are symmetric and intact. In the left breast, a discontinuity or disruption of the implant shell is identified. The rupture site is visualized as an irregular hypoechoic area within the implant with extracapsular silicone material extending beyond the implant shell. A stepladder sign is appreciated, characterized by alternating hyperechoic and hypoechoic linear echoes representing the folded implant shell. The right breast implant was normal. It had no signs of rupture. In the impression, you can mention the visible discontinuity or disruption of the implant shell. And you can also mention the stepladder sign that is characterized by alternating hyperechoic and hypoechoic linear echoes representing the folded implant shell. You can end the impression by writing clinical correlation with patient symptoms and further imaging such as MRI may be warranted to confirm the diagnosis and assess the extent of the rupture. Discussion with a plastic surgeon regarding potential implant replacement or removal is advised. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.